guys are, I mean, all relatively young guys. So the way that the film sort of works, and the way that you guys even work just in real life, is you're you're entering this point, uh, part of your life where you're sort of getting to know who you are. Mm -hmm. um, the film really displays that a lot of, with the music, the costumes, the locations, sort of trying out new things, whether it's punk or disco or rock and roll or whatever, to mm -hmm. sort of figure out where you slot in the world, who you are. So can you talk a little bit, I guess, about your own personal experiences, sort of going through, you know, that late teens, early 20s kind of uh, part of your life? I think everybody has their own time frame mm -hmm. for that, though. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't feel like I felt comfortable until not even just last year. Like, and I'm 28 now, so, like, uh, the college experience for me was a growing experience, but I didn't learn what I needed to learn from from that that time. I just I think I just had a lot more fun. <laughs> we get to <laughs> the, taste like a little bit. Of yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I kind of expanded my mind a little bit more than I I would if I hadn't gone to college. But um, I don't know. It, it all depends on the person, I guess. Yeah, I mean, for me, I I came from a really small town in Northeast Texas, and I went to University of Texas at Austin, and that was such a huge leap for me uh, with the amount of people and just the culture and experiences and taking all these different classes. I was, I was a theater major there, but you know, behind all that college is a safe space and it's a protected space. And so I think for me, I really didn't learn who I was until I, I dropped out of school and I moved to LA and I was immersed myself in the real, real world, you know? Yeah, I think I feel like I've gone through kind of uh, stages of it where like, you go through high school and you get comfortable with kind of like who you think you are and you kind of commit to that right. for a little bit and then right. you go to college and it's a new world and so you have new ideas, new people, new thoughts and you go, oh, okay, well, I'll explore this for a little bit and you kind of grow into that person. Uh, and now I think, you know, doing what we do and, and being in LA where you're constantly meeting new people and hearing new thoughts and ideas, uh, I feel like I've just accepted that it's always going to be a growing learning experience. Yeah, there's never a set you. There's always yeah. like, you know, yeah. 10 years from now, it's going to be completely different than who you are today. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. as long as you know that, you become okay with that and, you know, you keep on moving forward. Yeah, uh, my little period of time we're talking about was probably, uh, you know, graduating high school and then moving out to L.A. You know, I thought I thought I had all the answers. I thought I had it figured out because I had my high school figured out. So I was like, okay, I'm going to have the world figured right. out. If I can have <laughs> the high school figured out and I can, you know, work everything. <laughs> but then I moved out there, I was on my own, and then that's when you really, like, you know, when you detach from the life you were living prior, you know, and, like, that that, com that sense of comfort, you know, with your family and everything like that, it, it causes you to kind of put your big boy pants on and kind of embrace life for what it is. So that, that was kind of a moment for me. Well, within the film structure, sort of this, this baseball team, there's also sort of a this humbling experience that I think you can also identify with as, as actors, where you think you're, you know, I, I think I'm really good. Right. And you sort of go out into yeah. the world and you realize, holy shit, these right. people, there are people who are better than me right. at this. Um, you know, are they, have you had those sort of experiences in trying to sort of carve your own path where you, you realize, maybe, maybe I don't quite have this as figured out and sort of have that humbling experience that you have to kind of... Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I think... Uh, what are you oh, I was just going to say, I think, I, I don't know if it applies to you as well, but for playing college ball, I mean, it was kind of an eye-opener right then. I think we were all really good in our high school period, you know, as mm -hmm. far as baseball-wise, and it's just a competitive aspect mm -hmm. of, you know, what we were doing. But as soon as we got to college, it's like, whoa, you, you open your eyes to this this whole new wave of talent. Everyone's And like now it. you're just yeah. Yeah. one of, you know, the, the smaller fish in this big old pool. Yeah. So it kind of, in a sense, made me prepared for what I was going to encounter as an, as an actor, you know? Yeah. I mean, auditioning as an actor in L.A. at a professional level is, you know, there's an incredibly wide pool of talent and everybody's good at that level, you know, I mean, I, we all audition against each other for different roles, so you just have to be aware of that and know that, you know, like Willoughby says in the movie, all you can really do is bring who you are and um, have a good time. Yeah, I yeah. think there's one of my lines in the movie that says, uh, <clears throat> it says, you know, uh, I think Zoe's character asks me, you know, was I good on my baseball team back at home, and I said, yeah, but that's the thing, like everybody was the, was the man on their team right. back at home, right. and he come yeah. out here and you realize that you're barely even good enough to be on the team. Mm -hmm. So I think that's something like I opening I'm sure all of us had moving out to LA as an actor. You're like, yeah. okay, this will let's see, like this might this might be a, a, a hit. Like we right. might just go out and get lucky and then you realize no, this takes hard work, this yeah. takes yeah. some determination. One of the there are a couple of scenes within the film that I, I sort of found really interesting because I think everybody has these real deep philosophical conversations with their friends 
when you are in some state of inebriation, yeah. uh, whether you're drunk or yeah. stoned or whatever, uh, we all have these conversations where we're like, oh man, let's try and unlock the keys to yeah, the universe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> have you guys had those experiences? What's sort of like, I guess, the, the, deepest, the deepest rabbit hole you've sort of found yourself going down oh, to man. try and figure oh, out? Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Don't tell me. Uh, uh, no, I, I had many, many a nights with my buddies in college, and, and even since then. I, I think it still comes up. I, it's one of those things you have you have those nights, and, you know, you can only have so many nights where you, like, you go out and you party and you have a good time, and you just, you're just there for the party. Yeah. And then at some point you sit down and go, like, I want to think about stuff. Like, let's <laughs> let's talk this out. Let's really, yeah, let's really fun. figure. Yeah. Let's find something. Like, even if there's one thing today, right. let's find one new thing that we can wake up tomorrow and be like, "We said that, and yeah. it was stupid, but it kind of makes sense." <laughs> yeah. like, We're getting old now, dude. I think that's that's the that's <laughs> that's yeah. Now it's like yeah. now it's like when you have a few too many, you're kind of like, I don't really want to go out. Like, let's Damn, just I'm tired. Let's just hang out. Yeah. Let's just like go by the couch. What are you room service? What have you been thinking about lately? Who are you voting for? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about yourself. Yeah. Yeah. The best time to talk about, about politics is when you're yeah, right. Right. Yeah. in politics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. Good meeting you, buddy. Thank you. Uh.